Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video I'm excited about, you know what, this guy has been uh, requested probably in the last week, but nothing before that. So only recently I've seen this name, and it's only after I put up my duking video. So people have seen that, and I've been recommended a guy that is apparently the best stepper they've ever seen. Peter Warwick. College highlights. So you know what? That's exactly what we're going to look up. Peter Warwick. No, not, no, not that Peter Warwick. Although, we'll give you a watch, mate. Oh, Peter. Hey, mate. What's going on, guys? Sharon, you were just our absolute laugh. Oh, Vicky, like Vicky Sponge. Well, you know what? Um, Peter Warwick, the most elusive college football player ever. Okay, okay, okay. We might be onto something here. What is it? Um, Peter Warwick, born 1977. Wide receiver, 5'11", 88 kilos. He went pick number four in the 2000 NFL draft. And he played up until 2011. So he had a fucking big career. College career. Warwick received an athletic scholarship to attend Florida State University and played for coach Bobby Bowden's Florida State Seminoles football team from 1995 to 1999. So he did his four years at college. He primar primarily played wide receiver and returned punts. Interesting. Leading Florida State to the national championship game appearances in 98-99. During the 99 season, Florida State was the first team in college football history to rank first in the polls throughout the season and end with the number one ranking in the country. Warwick was recognized as a consensus first team All-American, which is the All-Star team, and MVP of the 2000 Sugar Bowl. And the Sugar Bowl is the game between two teams that all state sugar chooses. Is that right? I don't know. With over 160, 59 yard punt return, Warwick graduated from Florida State with a Bachelor of Science degree in Political Science in 1999. College stats and awards. Touchdowns. 32 touchdowns. That's heaps. Punt returns. An average of 13 yards over 72 games, or 72 returns. Not too bad. Too bad. On September 29th... Oh, okay, now it gets interesting. On September 29th, 1999, during Warwick's senior season, Warwick and teammate Lavira Coles went to Dillard's in the Tallahassee Mall and bought $412.38 worth of clothing for $21.40. A discount so large that it is considered shoplifting under Florida law. An off-duty officer saw what happened through a surveillance camera. Warwick, Coles, and the clerk were a rip. Okay, so it was a friend that helped him. On October 22nd, Warwick pleaded guilty to misdemeanor petty theft in connection with the department store scam. At that, at that year's rivalry game between the Florida Gators and Florida State, Gators fans brought Dillard's bags, Dillard's bags to Florida Field in order to mock Warwick. Florida State won the game 30-23. Great. At the time of his arrest, Warwick was widely considered the frontrunner for the Heisman Trophy, with 36 catches for 508 yards and four touchdowns. Following the arrest, he was suspended for two games since cr criminal charges prevented him from playing. The two-game suspension, along with the negative publicity he received, ended any chance for Warwick to be awarded the Heisman Trophy. At season's end, he was not invited to the award presentation and finished sixth in the overall voting. Okay. So, he played his first three seasons with the Bengals. He never gained more than 667 yards in any season. He caught a career-high 90... In 2003, he caught a career-high 79 passes for 819 yards and 7 touchdowns. Warwick missed most of the 2004 season with the injury, and receiver TJ Hauschmandazi, <laughs> a 7th round pick, 
in the 2001 draft, replaced him at the number two receiver spot and ended up having the best season of his career. Oh, you'd be gutted. Warwick was released from the Bengals before the start of the 2005 season. Went to the Seahawks and for most of it. He was infrequently used and he was used for a punt as a punt returner. His 12-yard punt return in the first quarter of the Super Bowl helped set up Seahawks' first points of the game. Later, he had a 34-yard return negated by a penalty. He finished with four punt. He finished that game with four punt returns for 27 yards. Did they win? Who won? Oh no, the Seahawks lost. Gutted. Okay, so then he went to the Las Vegas Gladiators. Arena football. What's that? Cincinnati Commandos indoor football. Okay, so he played four seasons in the NFL, but he killed it in college. And we're about to see exactly how he did. Best Dukes ever. Copy URL. Bang! Five eleven. Bang. Bang. Oh, I <laughs> literally went backwards. <laughs> nice step. Nice step. See, what makes a nice step is being able to see them come across, bang it in at the right time, and not lose any pace. You don't want to lose speed. That is the key to a nice sidestep. But not all the time, I must admit. Not all the time. Like for something like a jump cut, where you take away all speed and you literally move laterally, then, you know, and a lot of my sidesteps don't actually stay the same pace. It's only when I really want to put in that one step to get away from someone that you can retain that pace. Like, a guy, Christian Cullen. He was the best at doing that. He just, he, he, yeah, he bangs it in at the right time. Every time. Nice. Oh! Ah! Oh. oh, nice, yes. Nah. And, oh, no way! I want to see that one again. That was like that McCaffrey one. Hmm. Fuck, he's fast. Oh! Yeah, it reminds me of a few uh, rugby tries that I've seen, actually. Oh my god! What? That's a mean run. Awesome footwork, eh? He's just, as soon as he does one, he's already on to the next step. I'd love to play this game, man. I just don't know how I'm going to go with pads on and a helmet. I honestly don't. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you Benji Marshall once again. Sorry, guys. If you have seen it before, you have. If you haven't, you haven't. But this step where he goes, here, I'll talk you through it. I'll talk you through it. 
he goes round the outside. Bang step, bang step, bang step. And then he, he probably accelerates like through the gap. I'm not sure what he does. But this is the, um, this is the rugby league equivalent of, of that, okay? Um, Benji Marshall, side step, 2000 and, no, 2005. Benji Marshall is an absolute legend in the game of rugby league. Um, he came on, he burst onto the scene in 2005 for the West Tigers. He's still playing in 2018. In fact, you know, we talk about guys like uh, Ray Lewis, we talk about guys like Jerry Rice, we talk about guys like Deion Sanders, guys who have really, really long careers. This guy is pretty much one of those, but for rugby league. So, Benji Marshall, I'm going to show you guys the step. This is what absolutely burst him onto the world stage um, at age 21 in 2005. He did a triple step like you just saw, but he also did a goose step as well as a no-look pass at the end to finish off the try. This is absolute class in rugby league, right? So watch this. Bang step, bang step, bang step. See ya, goose steps around him and a no-look pass to the right for a try. Thank you very much. Good night. What skill. This time I'll let you watch it without me saying anything. Alright? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's as good as you'll see, all right. He's lost a couple of yards worth of pace, but um, he's still got the he's still got the footwork. You don't lose that kind of thing, you know. This guy was one of my inspirations to try and learn how to sidestep like this guy. Without looking. See ya. Oh, it makes me happy seeing that. Um, all right, let's continue. Bang, bang, oh! The one and then the two. That was nice. So was that. See, I'd be doing that all day as a receiver. I'd just be stepping my fucking opponent. Unless they block me and literally like take me off my feet. Bang! Bang! I'd be doing that all day, I'm telling you. Well, hopefully. Oh, how I'd love to score a touchdown. Honestly. I've got to work on my stamina though. I have to work on my speed, my stamina, my agility. I have to work on everything. Because I'm not at that level yet. No way. I've got to work on it. And I can't wait to do that. So, let's look at Peter Warwick again. Let's look at his NFL highlights. Peter Warwick, elusive. Oh, there's someone else's reaction. 
<laughs> I wonder what his is like. Oh, I want to watch that. <laughs> um, Alright, let's watch this one. Florida State University highlights. It's probably going to be the same runs, but... It's got commentary, which is good. Whoa! Oh, the fumble! Nice step right there. And another one. We saw that before, but it's nice. Yeah, I'd be thanking my blocker as well. Oh man, I could see myself doing that, man. Bang step, bang step, bang step. See you later, goose. Bang, ah, oh, all over the place. Can't wait. Fuck yes. Well, I hope so, anyway. I freaking hope so, man. I just gotta run good lines. Which I'll practice. I've gotta be able to catch the ball, man. I've gotta be confident. Oh, I've gotta be able to catch those as well. They look terrible. Score that. Seriously. What? Get behind you, blocker. Yes, good stuff. That's the kind of thing that I have to sort of teach myself to do. Rather than look for the lateral, like I would in a game of rugby, I've got to literally use my, like, wait for my guys to come in front of me and allow them to do what they do best, and that's take people out <laughs> for, for runners. It's a whole different way of thinking. I re you really have to use your teammates. It's not... It's you getting up the field, it doesn't mean fuck all. You need your teammates to be doing their job. Unless you beat people literally one-on-one -on -one and get an open run. But yeah. I thought the running back had that. Oh, what a ball. So that guy running back there to try and save that tackle, right? His only option would be to try and get the ball, uh, get the guy to drop the ball. Is that right? 
So he's running back. He's just about over the try line. He might be well. The, the touch. The sorry. The um. The end zone. He's just about there. He's about a yard away. The guy diving for him. His only option is to smack the ball out and get him to fumble it. Is that right? So you'd want to. You'd, you'd basically be hitting him or doing whatever you can to try and get him to drop the ball. Whereas in rugby, it's not. Like, that's why I was confused about when a touchdown is, is scored and when it's not, because in rugby you've got to actually touch the ball down on the, on the grass. So that guy running back a metre out, his other option is to try and get underneath the ball as, he, as the attacker falls over the line and stop the ball from touching the ground, in which case it's held up over the line and the attacking team gets the ball five metres out. They, re they retain the ball, but it's not a try or a touchdown in your case. So, yeah. Another thing, another thing that I learned recently. We're doing a lot of learning lately, as you guys know. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. We're going to stop it here, and um, I'm going to call it a day. So that was cool, Peter Warwick. I'm not sure you're the best stepper I've ever seen, um, but I don't really know of anyone better than you, to be honest. I mean, those were some pretty awesome runs. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you have liked it, press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. I gotta go. Peace out.